Hi everyone, in this video I am showing you the photos which I took for a recent event. Uh, it was another Runner's World magazine shoot. They asked me to go get some shots of a half marathon over in a place called Alloa in Scotland, which is kind of, if you've got Edinburgh here and Glasgow here, you have Stirling in the middle, it's kind of near Stirling in the middle, just a little bit above. Um, and uh, so yeah, it was a half marathon. It's normally, they just use one photo for in the magazine just to give people an idea of what the race was like. And uh, the difficulty here is that it was a dull, dull guff day. In fact, you'll, you'll see these photos here. Um, there's just nothing that can really be done to make it a lovely, beautiful day. Um, also, Aloha, let's just say, is not culturally significant really uh, so yeah got some shots again for the magazine they don't really want uh, start shot and finish shots um, that might be fine if you're doing kind of photographs of the actual people and of the event but for a runner's world magazine what they usually want is kind of mid race course shots uh, so here I wouldn't really use any of these shots um, because people don't get an idea of what it's like. This just looks like a whole load of people going past the camera. Uh, to give you an idea, I was going for a fairly fast shutter speed, one 250th of a second. I also had it on my Tokina 11 to 60 millimeter lens. So I've got a wide angle amount, um, but even at uh, one 250th of a second, you've still got really cool blur going on in the shoes. And, oh wow, that looks like a serious scar. Um, going on, so you really need a very fast shutter speed if you're shooting people close up running past you. If they're running towards you, you probably don't need quite as fast uh, a shot. So anyway, half marathon, that's about 13 miles, I think. Uh, the first bit was around the, the town itself, and again, it's just not that interesting a place. Uh, it was also a totally grey sky, there was just no texture in it whatsoever. So in other words, if I bring, yeah, if I bring the recovery up and bring the exposure down, there's nothing interesting happening in the sky there whatsoever. It just looks a little bit more overcast and a little bit disgusting. So effectively, what you want to do is maybe just blow out the sky, make it a really bright white image. Um, and again, I'm not going to really use any of these. Whenever I'm doing this, I'm obviously in my car. And I'm driving around the course, and you've got to be ahead of all the people mostly, uh, so you can actually get shots of them. Uh, and 13 miles is quite a lot of driving, because you usually go forward and backwards and chase after people. Um, and again, they don't, in the magazine, they don't really want the shots of the absolute best pro elite runners. That's not what the magazine is about, it's about people getting into running and training and stuff like that. So trying to find an interesting location in the Route uh, was the tough bit. There's this nice clock tower at one point. I'm trying to get some shots here. Um, struggled. Let's see. See, so yeah, this is probably about the closest I'm going to get to an interesting possible shot. There. I would say that's a good one. Um, what I would do is I'd crop it, I'd bring the top it down. Not interested about the trees. Not interested about that, really. Not interested about the police officer. Bring that in. That, I would say that is absolutely fine for the mouse. Well, it is not because I need to straighten it drastically. Uh, let's see, that looks a bit better. Yeah, so that, that's the kind of shot that you're going to get. Uh, in fact, I'll just do P for pick and uh, go through it. But yeah, on a day when it's as dull as this, there's not you're not going to get a really cool, dramatic, fun, interesting shot. Um, so the next thing is, if there's not an interesting location, then try just try and get a shot of where they were running. And here's, an, here's a good idea of like, this is all the road, you've got the mountainside to the right and the, the fields off to the, oh, well, fields off to the right, mountains off to the left, cloud going off into the, the mountains here. And again, they're not really wanting artistic shots, it's just, what was the race like? Uh, again, getting shots from lower down makes the people look bigger, makes them take up more of the frame. Uh, so that's quite good, makes people look more powerful. Also, white balance, that's an important thing. Um, with it being so grey, as it were, if you shoot at normal daytime white balance, it looks really miserable. Like, 
white is white and it just looks a bit blue and a bit miserable. So to warm up, to make it look a little bit less frickin' cold, uh, here I put it up to 7200 uh, white balance. So everything's a little bit warmer now. And uh, if we go along, so yeah, it just doesn't look quite as cold. Uh, that looks more like a heart rather than just a frosty morning. Uh, so yeah, getting some shots. The other thing is, see, this was around about the six mile marker here. People don't look good whenever they've done six miles of running. I was, was impressed by the speed that they go, like proper fast. Um, but uh, phew, it's not a healthy sport, long distance running. Sprinters, you know, amazing bodies, but uh, long distance, it's just like people just look knackered and just look like they're properly punishing themselves all the way through. So again, here, this is another kind of shot. Unfortunately, it's an ass shot, which I'm not wanting to use, but it's the idea of like, look, there's all the people running as a road race, so people know it's a road race, but yeah, you get the idea of the location out in the fields, because that's what it was, a little bit around the city, then out to the fields. Um, but you don't really want an ass shot of people going in. So this one, that that's this is what I like. I'll check, pick this one. Um, here you've got a nice kind of idea of it going from blur to sharp, and then to blur in the background. You've got the fact that there's cars going along the roads, so people know where you are. Uh, and you can see there's a little tiny in the background and a little bit of green to the side as well, so that's good. Really, what I do want is to get one with a hill. Uh, let's see. Now, this, these are the shots I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to send through. See that one? That one looks good. Yeah, you've got the whole idea of the road, people in the background blurry, you've got a girl in it, so you know there are boys and girls doing the race. Uh, yeah, that one must have done a little bit of cropping, that one. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to pick that one. That one. Yeah, just trying to get people which aren't doing slightly confused faces and body positions uh, during long distance running is tough. Everyone's knackered, everyone's running around just like, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, nobody looks cool uh, is the main thing. Like, um, again, 100 meter sprints, that looks awesome. Uh, 30 miles doesn't look good, unless you're one of those like Ethiopian or Nigerians that just like are built for that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so this, this looks good, wait, oh, what was that? Look, there's someone even smiling, crazy, he's clearly not smiling, <laughs> which one do you want to use? <laughs> um, and yeah, shot. there's a good shot, so it gives the idea that there's traffic, there's mountains, there's fields, that's got everything in it uh, that you're wanting. Oh, uh, old guy, old guy, yeah, good, get him, uh, oh, it's good, so people know that there's a full range of people doing it. And then here's another shot, that might be a good one, again, if we, cr so I was pretty much standing right in the middle of the road for this, and get the top down, so that's the kind of image you might have in the magazine, that's probably what we'll go for. Uh, these were all shot in RAW, but I'm not really going to play around with them too much uh, for the magazine. Uh, oh, they're, they're quite good as well, uh, she looks a bit serious, he's a bit blurry, he's waving, don't wave to the camera, it's for a magazine. This guy is in a bin bag. Um, no, probably not going to put him in. And waving, brilliant, yes, which is great. Uh, like these people said to me, "What, what uh, website is it for?" I'm like, "Runners World Magazine." They're like, "Oh, right, so not for website for me to just send off my pictures." Um, uh, but yeah, oh, is that it? I think that's it. So in total, only took, oh, uh, only took two hundred photos. He <laughs> quite a lot. Um, and I'm going to send about four through to the magazine. So I'm going to get to them. Let's just see which ones I've actually chosen. Uh, for the flagged ones, I have got 21. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult. That one, probably not. That one, no. So we unpick that. That one is a possible. That one, again, whenever everybody's pounding the ground, gravity screws up your face. Like, just brings everything down, he looks like he's asleep, she looks like she's asleep as well. Uh, no, not using that one, unpick. Uh, this one, this one looks good, yeah, she's like mid-sprint, she, okay, she's blurry, but that's that's not too much of an issue. Um, and she's looking quite good, looking fast. Uh, get the crop in and straighten. The only thing is here, you're not really seeing anything of interest in the image. Um, so it's just some people running past. So no, probably not. Uh, no, this. What a cracker. Yeah, banana hammock as well, it seems like. Yeah, gonna probably go with those. And 
Not that shot. That's a good shot. Yeah, like that one. Not that one. Mm, maybe that one. That one's good. Cool, yeah. Those are the shots. Anyway, so, so that's what I did. Driving there what, took about an hour, driving back took about another hour, driving around took about another, so it was about three hours worth of work, editing, done it for about an hour as well, and then uploading is going to take about another hour uh, once I sent it off to the magazine. So you've got to think about all that kind of stuff whenever you're doing it. So yeah, so that was my shoot of the Alawa Half Marathon for Runner's World magazine. Okay, hope that helps. Cheers, bye-bye.